Hi, I'm Paul Foley, co-founder of Versatile Security, and thank you for joining this short webinar today. Today, I will present the case for using Windows Smart Card Logon to enhance your IT security. The use of inadequate passwords, even passwords considered strong by your IT department, are vulnerable to hacking. For example, a recent study conducted by Deloitte predicts that, in 2013, 90% of user-generated passwords will be vulnerable to hacking. Over the last 12 months, some very high-profile companies have been hacked, such as Twitter, Apple and Microsoft. In Twitter's case, attackers made off with the usernames, email addresses and encrypted passwords of about 250,000 users. You may be thinking all of this hacking business doesn't really apply to your company, and it is only large multinationals that are attacked, or that the security precautions you have in place are plenty good. This is not typically the case. According to security firm Semantic, in the first half of last year, 36% of all targeted attacks were aimed at companies with less than 250 employees. That figure was up from 18% from the previous year. Poor password protection can result in heavy financial costs along with damaging the reputation of a company compromised by such an attack. Because of increasing attacks and ever more sophisticated hacking techniques, it is now never more important for companies of all sizes to consider stronger forms of authentication. Windows Smart Card Logon is one such mechanism available that can mitigate the risks imposed by traditional username and passwords for accessing corporate networks. Using traditional username and passwords to authenticate to corporate networks bring risks. For example, users tend to use bad passwords. The company IT security policy enforces users to set complex passwords which are often difficult to remember, causing frustration and annoyance for end users. Users write passwords on paper or on post-its and place them on their desks or attach them to their monitor for all to see. And users frequently forget their passwords, resulting in high help desk assistance, which adds a high cost for organizations. So what is the alternative to mitigate the risks imposed from using traditional username and passwords? Using smart cards to perform Windows Smart Card Logon is the alternative. This brings strong two-factor authentication, that is, something you know plus something you have. Two-factor authentication seeks to reduce the probability that the requester is presenting false evidence of its identity. It is also best practice, as recommended from Microsoft, to use Windows Smart Card Logon. And using smart cards bring additional benefits in the form of enhancing IT security such as email digital encryption and email digital signature, digital encryption of files, or authenticating to VPNs. Also, smart cards can be used to gain access to company buildings as physical access devices. All of these extra uses for smart cards ensure maximum return on investment when compared to other security devices. In order to implement Windows Smart Card Logon, you will need three components. A public key infrastructure, commonly referred to as a PKI. The Microsoft Role Certificate Services provide a PKI for Windows environments. Physical smart cards. And a smart card management system to manage the employee's smart card throughout their lifetime. The VSEC CMST series is tailored for companies of all sizes to quickly implement Windows Smart Card Logon with the minimum of cost and the highest level of security. Now I will demonstrate how quickly you can deploy a smart card to an employee to perform a Windows Smart Card Logon using the VSEC CMS to manage the smart card.
You can issue a Windows Smart Card Logon Certificate from the VSEC CMS Administration Console. Navigate to the Lifecycle page and click the Issued Oval. Select the card template, which is pre-configured to connect to Active Directory and Certificate Authority, and click the Execute button. Enter the operator passcode and during this process the smart card will be registered, assigned to a user selected from Active Directory and issued with a smart card logon certificate. On completion a short summary is presented to the operator. The smart card can now be used. Now, from a workstation connected to a domain, attach the smart card and enter the smart card pin to authenticate. This completes a simple demonstration. As you can see, using the v6 CMS, you can quickly and securely deploy and manage your employees' smart cards, allowing them to perform strong two factor authentication. Thank you again for joining today and hopefully you have a better idea of the value Windows Smart Card Logon can bring to your company. Please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have.